British Foreign Secretary William Hague arrived on Saturday in eastern Libya's rebel-controlled Benghazi. Hague's visit came after British Prime Minister David Cameron said three weeks ago that the National Transitional Council is the legitimate political interlocutor and the Britain's primary partner in Libya. Our correspondent Yama Walasmo in Benghazi has the story. It's the latest visit by a top Western official to the rebel stronghold of Benghazi, a part of international efforts to politically isolate Muammar Gaddafi. Britain remains a strong and true friend to the Libyan people. We did not turn a blind eye when Gaddafi turned his forces against innocent civilians and shelled peaceful protesters and even targeted the victims in hospitals. Britain has taken a leading role in the military campaign against pro-government forces, deploying Apache attack helicopters that have already targeted Colonel Gaddafi's brigades. There continue to be regime forces uh, which, if they were not challenged, uh, would be being used to threaten and harass the civilian population of Libya. Okay. Uh, we have to deal with them effectively. Dealing with them as effectively as we can from the air involves now the use of the Apache helicopters. Media reports have suggested British ex-special forces being active on the side of the rebels. Claims rejected by Mr. Haig. With the military and political pressure being ramped up against Colonel Gaddafi, the international community is sending a clear message to the longtime Libyan leader. For as long as Gaddafi continues to abuse his people, we will continue and intensify our efforts to stop him doing so. Yamaul Ismail, CCTV, Benghazi.